Welcome to your weekend ticket. First, we'll recap last weekend's box office numbers, then we'll let you know what's new in theaters this weekend, and finally, we'll leave you with some new releases to stream at home on Fandango Now. This weekend's box office ended up being a photo finish foot race between a CGI hedgehog and a CGI dog, but in that scenario, you gotta bet on Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog won the box office for a second weekend in a row with another 26 million earned domestic. The video game adaptation has already zoomed to more than 200 million worldwide after only 10 days in theaters. Coming in a close second was the newest version of The Call of the Wild. This adaptation of Jack London's classic adventure story earned not just 25 million for the weekend, but also star Harrison Ford's highest non-sequel opening since Ender's Game opened to 27 million back in 2013. And on fewer screens, but expanding soon to a theater near you, the newest adaptation of Jane Austen's Emma posted the highest per screen average of 2020 so far with 46K per screen per day. This Emma stars Anna Taylor-Joy as the titular matchmaker, and it adds more screens this weekend before expanding nationwide on March 6th. New in theaters this weekend is the suspense film, The Invisible Man. In it, a woman's life is turned upside down when her abusive ex takes his own life, but strangely leaves her his fortune. Things don't add up and she begins seeing signs that maybe he isn't dead and that maybe an experiment to make him invisible succeeded. Or maybe it didn't and it's all in her head. Or maybe it did. Elizabeth Moss stars as Cecilia and the film is directed and co-written by Lee Whannell, who's worked on other suspense properties like Insidious, Upgrade, Saw, and he's even the guy that was handcuffed to the pipe in the original Saw. See, that's him. So poor Cecilia is probably gonna have to go through some pretty intense situations. But if you're in the mood for a comedy instead, maybe you'll enjoy Greed. Greed tells the story of a billionaire fashion mogul who, in hopes of redeeming his tarnished reputation, decides to throw an extremely over-the-top party for himself. The cast includes several comedy legends, including Steve Coogan, Isla Fisher, Stephen Fry, and my personal favorite, David Mitchell. The director-writer, Michael Winterbottom, has done a total of seven movies with the star of the movie, Steve Coogan, so we're bound to get some good stuff out of both of these guys. There are some great Oscar-nominated movies available to stream this weekend on Fandango Now. Frozen 2 is finally available to stream. In this chapter, Elsa hears a mysterious voice calling to her from beyond, and so she, her sister Anna, and the rest of the gang set off to find its source and learn a forgotten secret of Arendelle they never knew. While Frozen 2 was in theaters, it was considered to have broken the record for highest grossing animated movie of all time, beating out the original Frozen film. And of course, the song Into the Unknown was nominated for an Academy Award and will likely get stuck in your head till Frozen 3. Also, the Oscar-nominated Knives Out is available on Fandango now this weekend. Writer-director Ryan Johnson delivers his take on a whodunit mystery with a crazy huge cast of A-list actors. In the film, a wealthy crime novelist dies, leaving an entire family of untrustworthy characters to defend their case to the police and an eccentric detective amidst the reading of the will. Knives Out is certified fresh with a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. The cast includes Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson, Tony Collette, Daniel Craig, Lakeith Stanfield, Ana de Armas, Christopher Plummer, and Chris Evans' cable knit sweater. Oh, this? Oh, it's just, it's just a little cold. The film was so beloved, it'll be getting a sequel, with Ryan Johnson saying it'll focus on Daniel Craig's detective character. And fans on Twitter are already helping out with a title. At Villain the Blank wrote, Knives Out 2, No Forks Given. At Stephen Byrne 86 suggested, Two Knives, Too Furious. And our very own Eric Davis writing, Knives Out 2. It's good, it's good. That's your weekend ticket. Let us know how you think The Invisible Man and Greed will do in theaters this week. And leave us a comment letting us know what you'll be watching. I'm Kel Anonymous, and I'll be back next Tuesday with more box office numbers, new releases, and new movies available to stream on Fandango Now.